Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the fourth problem, 64 in chapter 21. Chapter 21 is about electric charge and electric field. So there we have a dipole, and uh, it includes two positive charges with Q. And then we find we need to find the electric field at this location. It is a distance R with this uh, x axis, right? So this side is R. And the distance from the origin with the dipole is L. So now we can write down the electric magnitude for the electric field at location P. This one we're interested mm, at zero. And both of these charges are positive. So the electric field will radically outward. So for this one pointing there, for this one pointing there, the angle for this one equal to this angle. Just a five. Agree? Yes. Now we can write down the magnitude for these electric vectors. So it is a one over four pi not the epsilon naught. This is a constant times the charge. So right, Q divided by the distance from the charge to the location. You can see this side is R. This side length is L, so this side length must be squared. R squared plus L squared. Agree? So, because this part is Q divided by R, R squared, the distance is squared, so we write it as this one. So this side length squared, so the, this is a magnitude for the electric field. Now, we can see we need to find the net electric field. So that means we need to add these two vectors together. Agree? So project these two E vectors along the X axis and the Y axis. You can see X axis and X axis cancel out. They are equal in magnitude but opposite in direction. So we look at the Y component. So this side has E sine phi. This silence is E sine phi, agree? So the E net is just a 2 times E sine phi. And then, how could we define sine phi? Sine phi is use this silence, R divided by the silence, squared R squared plus L squared, we write it there, agree? Now we input the E and the sine phi inside. We get the function, look like this one, and we can simplify it. You can see, this is a 2q, we write it there, this is a constant, it looks like this one. And then this is L, so this term becomes R squared plus L squared, and then cube over 2, right? You see, because this is 1 power 1, this is a power 1 half. Put them together, it becomes 3 over 2. Now, well, we can simplify further, because it tells us the keyword. It tells us the R is much larger than L, right? So R is much larger than L. So that means in this term, the L can be canceled. This is a term it tells us. So now you can see we get R cubed. And this R, this R cancel one R, we get the answer there, right? So now we proved it. The next one is plan why the field decreases as 1 over r squared here as for a dipole it decreases as 1 over r cubed. So how, how can we explain that? Because we look at the keyword. R is, r is much larger than L. So that means this r, this part is much larger than L. So that means we can consider these two charge as a charge as a single charge, right? Because this is a super huge. This is like a, like you can see from this position, we look at these two charges because R is much larger than L, so we can consider these two charge just like one single charge, right? We can consider them together, and this is a charge. This single charge is just with 2q, do you agree? The charge quantity 2q, so we can write it as the 1 over 4 pi 
Epsilon naught 2 over R squared. Right? Thank you.